Hi you guys, Total Reactions here. Today it's time for me to finish season 1 of Heartstopper. It's episode 8, I don't know the title, I'm going to find out um, later. Yeah, I've watched the last 7 episodes in like 4 or 5 days, I'm not sure. And I'm so glad that there is season 2, that season 2 is out. Because after season 2, I don't think I'm going to wait um, till next year to start season 2. <laughs> yeah, but once I finish season 2, I'm going to miss it, I think. Or maybe season 2 is going to be really bad. And I'm going to be happy that it's over, but I kind of doubt that. <laughs> but let's not think about season 2 or even season 3 until I finish season 1. So yeah, it's a season finale, so I'm I'm curious how a season finale looks like in this show. What's going to happen in the season finale in this show? Let's find out and start the episode. Did something happen? How old is she? I want to know how old she is. Didn't you hear about Harry Green's fight with Nick and Tell? Both my fault, by the way. Yeah, I'm like 95% sure they were both Harry's fault and I wasn't even there. Yeah. I liked him. He made me feel like I was ruining his life. Like he didn't want me to even exist. And now Nick's lost all his friends and he's getting into fights because of me. Maybe I do just ruin people's lives. Wouldn't it be better if I didn't exist? Um, that's kind of worrying. <laughs> Him saying something like that, um... Oh, I love Tori slash Wednesday. <laughs> Oh, that, yeah, well, yeah. They're already boyfriends, so. We could all be javelin again, like last year. You're on the rugby team. What? So the rugby team always do the sports day rugby match. So I, I don't think we can do the same event this year. He was in the rugby team, then he was out of the rugby team, and now he's in the rugby team again, and now he wants out of the rugby team again. Hey. Did you want to get lunch together? Um, wow. Just Bruce. I can't. Sorry. I think I'm going to quit the rugby team. Oh, okay. Why? I just don't think rugby's for me. I don't think so either. Have the boys giving you a hard time? It's not the worst decision, I think. Ooh. The colors in the show sometimes, oh, really good. The contrast and everything. Like it. Save their I friendship. Here. I thought he was eating with you. Charlie avoiding you too. I'm avoiding him. Why? Because I'm pissed off with him. I was so worried about him joining the rugby team and becoming friends with you because I knew that he'd get picked on by some of the idiots in your year. And guess what? He did. I'm done trying to protect him when he's forgotten I exist. Like, I deserve to be appreciated. True. He loves you a lot. And he knows yeah. that. He's always had a tendency to believe that him just existing is annoying for other people. Yeah. I yeah, and then you sort of are pretending He's not gonna that he doesn't exist. Out, like which is good. And he would literally never tell you this, but he probably wants to be something more than secret guy you kiss sometimes on the down low. Because he's been through this, oh. yeah. I... I'm going to stay pissed off with him for a bit longer. <laughs> you should try rugby. Not too long, please. It's good for releasing negative emotions. To get killed. <laughs> but like this whole messaging shit, I hate it so much. Like in general, not in shows or anything. Like I hate it because like 20 years ago, people just talked to each other, and now we have like WhatsApp and Insta and stuff. It's so not the same. Please talk to me, yes, but in person, please. I hate it, sports day at school. Like the worst day of the year. <sighs> Baby. Like, Charlie, come on, this is the season finale. Don't act like this in the finale. Charlie, there aren't any sports day events going on in the art block. <laughs> you better not be about to ask me if you can stay in here all afternoon. <laughs> we having a repeat of last year? Isolating yourself, not talking to anyone? No. Right, I'm not going to make you go because I'm a nice teacher. 
And when I was at school, I thought that hiding from it all was safer, easier. But sometimes the loneliness was just as bad. Like I don't think I really wasn't, uh, I really wasn't aware of how much Ben broke this little guy. Two hundred meters for Team Blue. You need to be over by the starting line in three minutes. I can't run. He really can't. Can't <laughs> you? Well, not, not fast. You hate running. I'll run it for you. Thanks. Sorry for everything. It's time to assemble by the starting line. I hope you. You obsessed with me or something? Oh my god! I need to. I. I should play rugby right now. Like I. Oh. Barely seen a show that makes me so angry. Also very happy, but show this bitch. Now kick him in the face. Step on him. Do you want me to go around telling people about you and Nick? Do you want me to go around telling people about me and you? That's what I thought. That was Except I wouldn't do that because I'm a decent person. But you don't get to make me feel like crap anymore just because you hate yourself. So leave me alone. Just leave me alone. Oh, what an inspiring moment. Jesus Christ. That was awesome. I'm so no, sorry. No, I'm sorry. I should have been a better friend and I've been kind of... I shouldn't have gotten angry at you. <sighs> you kind of had... Oh. I made it so hard for you to tell me. I should have been looking out for you as much as you were looking out for me. Never. Like, even something like this, I've n I, I, I would never do that because I would break my neck or something or a rip or... My aim is also not that good. I think I would have killed someone with this thing. It looks like my <laughs> six-year-old niece painted this. <laughs> but I can't draw or paint or so... You've got the wrong team's face paint on. Oh, that's Charlie's fault for swapping bibs with me. Just wipe the face paint off. <laughs> but I get it. Falling in love with your best friend is... Ooh. <laughs> like she said, she's afraid of ruining their friendship. And it's totally oh, something that... I want to go find my old locker. ...can happen. Like... Thank you. I was wondering, where the hell is Nick? Shut up. So, are you going to tell Nick Nelson that he has to do the match? No, no you shut up. I'm good. Oh. And you feel like I'd be better off without you, but my life is way better because I met you. And I'll keep on saying it until you believe me. But I don't care about getting into fights or pissing off my mates or anything like that. It's all worth it to be with you. I mean, you are the kindest, most thoughtful and caring and an amazing person in the whole world. And if you really want to break up, then I would respect your decision. But I want us to be together. I believe you. Okay. I believe you. Progress. Oh, little trip. Nice. Oh my god, the beach. Yeah, surprise. Oh my god. What if I came out? What? I, I really want to. I want to tell the people who matter. And I want you to be able to tell people too. But who matters? Oh my god, I like you so much. Like your mother. And I love but, liking you. But I like well. Charlie Spring in a romantic way, not just a friend way. <laughs> <laughs> I never thought this would happen to me. Like I love the Either. hugs way more than the kisses. I don't know why. <laughs> Does this mean we're boyfriends? Yes. Was that not already established the last 10 times we made out? Thank you so much, yes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Why are we like this? You're my boyfriend! 
I'm your boyfriend. We're Take your shoes off Dad first. I don't think she she she's gonna have a problem with it. Charlie's my boyfriend. We're going out, and I just wanted you to know. Oh, baby. Oh, oh I, I oh, love good parents. Me. You don't have to say you like girls if you don't. No, I um, it's it's called bisexuality. If you've heard of that, yeah, I've heard of that. I wasn't born in the 18th century. I was about to say, <laughs> or to ask, how, how you know? old do you think she is? <laughs> that was a nice ending. And so important for Charlie, I think. I think he really, he made a huge step in this episode. Like going from I'm... Like him think he, him always thinking he's a liability to everyone and uh, a burden and whatever. I think that maybe that was the case before he met Ben, but I think Ben made it so much worse. And him, like Charlie, calling him out for his bullshit in this episode. Oh my god, I don't care what a, what kind of problem Ben has. I mean, I knew I, I kind of knew it before before uh, Charlie mentioned it in this episode that Ben I don't I don't know if he's bi or he, if he's gay but he, he likes boys and he hates himself for that I, well, I I I I thought so and that's why he's like um he's taking it out on Charlie all the time I should feel sorry for him because it's not not a good situation he's also very young and um it's bothering him, I get it. Like also, like Nick, he also had to struggle with it. But that's... Even in this situation, you don't have the right to take it out on other people. And like being this way to someone who is not very self-confident. And like Charlie is a teenager. He felt just so bad and he was kind of... I don't know if it was like... A Depression or something, but um, a teenager suffering with uh, or struggling with mental stuff like this, it can end very badly. And you just don't have the right to talk to people like that. So that's yeah, and like treat treat them like shit. So I don't feel sorry for him. I can't. And I'm so glad that Charlie realized that. Like he kind of defined himself by all that stuff uh, Ben said and the way he treated him. He treated him like shit. He treated him like he meant nothing. That he should be glad that Ben um, made makes out, made out with him or whatever. But apparently everything is fine now. We're good with Tao. We're good with Nick. We're good in general. That's great. Harry wasn't in this episode. Awesome. But I'm kind of confused about what Nick said that he's Maybe he's ready to come out now. Because I thought he kind of came out when he took his when he took Charlie's hand in front of everyone. That was I th I thought that was him coming out. <laughs> because that was very obvious that there's something going on. Yeah, I don't know. That's a little bit confusing. And he wants to come out to the people he cares about, but yeah, he told his mother. But who else is he going to tell? His fucking friends? I don't think so. I really hope we're done with his group of friends. That he's just now friends with Tao and L, and maybe Tara and Darcy uh, and Isaac. Already forgot about him because uh, I sometimes I think the show really doesn't care about him. <laughs> I want to see more of him. I think next season is. Mm, maybe they focus more on that on the thing that's going on with L and Tao. This was the first episode. I, um, I was like, I really, I like, I like Tao in this episode, really very much. Maybe he's going to change a little bit because still I want to like him. People were telling me that I should be like, a little, mm, like patient with him. I should. Give him a chance, and I'm going to. Like uh, also Imogen, I'm kind of sad that um, we saw her like for uh, three seconds in this episode. Her smiling at them was very cute. 
I think I also can like her. For a second I was thinking maybe I should take a little break. A hot stopper break between seasons, I don't know. But I'm definitely not going to, I can't. <laughs> I just can't. Maybe, uh, yeah, I uh, actually, maybe I'm going to watch the next episode t uh, today. I don't know. Now that Charlie and um, Nick are boyfriends, like for the for the tenth time, <laughs> I'm very glad that he commented that. Like, um, I thought we we were boyfriends. We've been boyfriends for like uh, months. So yeah, and uh, I, I love when they say uh, or when they ask why are we like this. I I love this. <laughs> oh, and what I also like, I thought in like the last five minutes or something that they would or one of them would confess his love to the other one and i'm glad that didn't happen i've i'm i'm very glad they they don't rush things they should take their time because saying i love you it doesn't mean anything when you're not when you can't express it like by what you what what you do what you say how you treat the other person so if they're like cute to each other appreciate each other um respect each other like that's how they let me know that they love each other so they, they don't even have they don't have to say it i for them it's very important that they say it i i get it but that's a, that's like um actions matter more than words so I don't... I don't mind. I mean, Nick said he likes Charlie very much and he loves to like him. That was... A... <laughs> That's a start. And uh, Charlie seemed like very... He changed during this episode. In the end, he looked so insanely happy and just fine. That's great. So I enjoyed this season very much. I enjoyed this show so much i love almost every single character i mean uh, i hate the characters that i'm supposed to hate i hope you guys enjoyed and i hope to see you in season two of heartstopper it's not going to take a lot of time definitely not can't wait to watch it um yeah until then goodbye guys